And good morning, and welcome to the Frelsbrunn Farm. I uh, hope I'm still saying that right by now. Uh, just wanted to start off uh, from within the shop here, and uh, I've got the uh, awesome view of the castle up top. <laughs> so this is definitely a unique uh, map and a different feel from my other farm, the California Farm or Ravenport map. Uh, so. In my previous video it was raining and I thought it would be okay to still go out and get some soil samples of a field I just purchased. Unfortunately that was not the case. Uh, according to one of the mods that I have turned on, uh, it was way too wet to enter the field with this tractor. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to do that again. It's just a short trip down the road down there. And uh, of course it's not raining today so we can go see if it is still too wet to drive on. Oh, there's my tracks from yesterday. And uh, we'll go get some soil samples because I do want to get some data on the field that I just bought. According to, excuse me, according to, um, what is it, when I purchased it, there was data there suggesting that the yield of that field could be 20% higher than average. Um, so that's uh, significant, of course, and I would like to go get some data on that, on the soil samples there, on the data from them, and uh, figure out uh, exactly what I should plan over there. I do love my own. This is really nice. <laughs> I don't think I've used this, ca used this tractor in the low light yet, uh, so seeing the cab all the different lights of the cab is pretty uh, pretty nice. So, and this of course is a brand new tractor. I've only got yeah 0.4 hours, so uh, very little time in this machine. Right, go ahead and get our flashers on to hit down the road here. And make sure. Oh, okay, there he is. I was looking for my dog. Make sure he, <laughs> he likes to wander around and get uh, a little too close to the machines as he's doing right now. And what are you doing? <laughs> Just stay over there. Maybe he wants to be fed. Hey, anyway, I should I should feed him real quick. He's probably looking for food. I'll go drop some food in his bowl. Right. There we go. All right, I'll be back. Head down. Uh, head down the road. Oops. Oh, there it goes again. Yep. Still have to fix that mod as you just saw. There's an issue with me being able to throw the equipment around, which I do not want to do. I just want to get in it. <laughs> Really, really annoying. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the lights are still in that barn. Almost 7 a.m. here. So, not that early, but I guess for automatic lights, still, uh, still dark enough for. All right. Here we go. I'm like there my tire tracks from yesterday. <laughs> Try to knock off as much mud as I could uh, from my adventure into the soaking wet field. And uh, driving down these roads here in Europe is uh, <laughs> feels a little tighter than back at the other farm. And this is definitely a little bit of a Tight turn, you know. I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> how am I going to manage to get a combine up and down these roads? Uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. A lot of pulling off to the shoulder to let cars go by because it's going to take up. Not I'm not even talking with the head on. Obviously, the combine without the head, it's still a very wide machine, so that'll be interesting. So, tried the low end of the field while it was raining the other day, and that was turned out not to be good, so I'll start off on the high side of the field, which should be drier, and uh, let's see if we can get uh, see if we can get some data in here. It's not too wet to drive on. Lots of hills on this map, um, so which has pros and cons. <laughs> good drainage, um, but also a little trickier to drive on. So yeah, looks like, alright, so I was sinking pretty heavily into the soil 
uh, last time I was here and that is not the case now so what I'm going to do right now, I don't know if you can see on the bottom left hand of the map or the screen rather, is the map and the green circle that I have around me is the range of the soil sample um, so that's, uh, I'm trying to fit as much field as I can before I initiate the sample okay so let's see uh, it's been a while since I use this okay so it's unfolded I just need to lower it and take the sample okay right, so we've got one sample and it looks like these are pretty small fields uh, compared to the range of the sample actually so uh, I think two will do it, two samples will do it, I'll get those analyzed and head back to the other farm and I've, uh, I'm going to start thinking about what planters I need to use. I mostly only have small fields right now, um, so I'm going to probably shop for a good sized planter to use. Uh, I'm used to using pretty large planters uh, from the field sizes I had at the California farm. Uh, which I'll be flying back to uh, in a few days. But for now, I'm just here trying to get some things set, set up and started. And uh, yeah, brand new to me. Low time on all the equipment. Only like, you know, a couple hours total on this map. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's raised. Okay, I think that's the way it is. Just wait for these cars to get out of the way. And while I'm waiting, actually, I can go over here. Oh, hold on, there's something I have to do. Ah, see that, the Y function. Yes, okay. All right, so now the samples are sent. And it looks like, oh, a lot of blind spots here. <laughs> Destructive has, oh, okay, look, my soil samples are figure it out, but I'll head back first and figure out what we have to see. It's looking like it's going to be a nice day. Uh, the rain passed through, so fields are still a little wet, of course, but uh, overall, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and do anything too intensive today uh, with the fields uh, having had rain. Oh. I'm guessing that was me that knocked down a sign. <laughs> My bad. And some serious blind spots in this machine here. On the pillar. It's probably a way to adjust my viewing angle. But yeah, this thing definitely uses up the entire lane. Right side of the road, so... Okay, well that was easy. I think that's the only field left I had to sample. I'm just going to check the map again. Check the map to make sure that's all I uh, currently have to sample. I'm probably going to end up purchasing some more fields at some point. Okay, so those are all the fields I currently have purchased. And... Oh, okay. So it looks like... 18, oh, so there's quite a few fields left to do. I can go do those. Okay, so there's 25. So 25 has the data back now, and I'll scroll through that. Show the pH for field 25 here. Nitrogen's low on most of all the fields, so that's something I have to do eventually to start fertilizing. Might just start off with manure. Uh, spread some manure down, get that uh, Nitrogen up. Okay. So I've got no data on. Yeah, so let's see, 17, 18. So this, all these fields. Uh, okay, so I've got 20, quite a few to do. I can go do those now, actually. Okay, so I've got 21. Oops. 21 is good, so, oh, okay, and they are glowing, I forgot that it, it does that, they glow green, because I don't have this field here, I don't have 26, good, okay, 
Oh, I'm gonna, I'll go back out there then. Throw my hazards here. You know, there's a way to cut across. Through here. Without tearing things up too much. Maybe. <laughs> I don't like driving, uh, yeah, I don't like driving through the fields when they're wet, but don't want to have any, don't want to have too much soil compression, uh, but do want to at least get some soil data. Go back on the road here. These fence, they really, uh, they really cruise. <laughs> I do like that about these uh, these machines. Okay, so this is, this is me up here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just realized I could just yeah make this little turn here. But right now. All right. Cool. Got a little road and everything. So I'm seeing some weeds in here as well. So head into this field. Not sinking in too much. Definitely getting the tractor muddy, that's for sure. So I'm gonna, I'm watching my little green circle now, that's the reason for all the random turns, trying to fit as much field as I can in uh, the circle for a soil sample. So we'll go ahead and get a sample in. Field 18. And head over in this direction. Get the edge of that. I'm not my cruise control area. And that's enough there. Go over again, repeat the process. So this field looks like it's twice the size of the one I was just in, uh, based on the number of samples that we're getting. So. Uh, for the larger fields, I'm not sure where I'm going to be planting yet, but it could be corn, um, just because um, for harvesting, it's nicer to plant a crop like that in the bigger fields, just my personal preference. And also what I'm used to. It, so, oh yeah, so this is, oh yeah, it's actually quite a large field. We got quite a few samples for this one. That's an even larger field on the horizon over there. Yeah, so it looks like maybe a total of six samples uh, for this field. Yeah, this is really <laughs> the hills of these of this map. Is, I'm not used to all this. California farm is uh, a little bit flatter. One more sample, I don't know how accurate this thing is going to be on the hills like this, but uh, gives us the idea. Turn around. So that's a good sized field across the road. That would be ideal for, well, I guess anything, but. My personal preference. I'd, I like to plant uh, corn and stuff in bigger fields. But I would probably probably end up doing a lot of canola, really, because it's such a pretty looking crop. And uh, have I harvested canola yet? I think I have. It's been a while since I've planted, actually, so that's why I'm trying to think about all the different things I could plant. Uh, I know there's a ton of different things. I'll have to browse and figure out what I want to, what I feel like planting, and uh, also what is, what does this map have for uh, sale, and what kind of things are you supposed to sell to the different places here? I'm sure there's got to be a brewery somewhere. Okay, so that's it for this field, and 
our next field is right next door, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the control for sending these samples. Field 18, pretty well covered. And now we'll just pop over here uh, to this field. I'll start down this corner here. Not that there's anything wrong with uh, samples overlapping, it's just, you know, less work, less time doing this. Because it is a little bit tedious, <laughs> but you don't have to do it a lot. You only have to do it once for each field, or so far anyway. I don't think I've, uh, I don't think the data changes much, but, you know, it might with nitrogen concentration in the field and things, so. Uh, that'll be interesting to see that in the future. But yeah, uh, just a nice, nice morning, nice, uh, nice day here on this forum. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was at California Farm driving a much bigger, much bigger machine, the 9520RX, uh, with a full-size planter, finishing up a field there, canola, and parked that. Was testing out. Uh, these are all pre previous videos, by the way. You can see the trying to post these in chronological order. But uh, yeah, a couple of videos ago, I was over in the California farm and had also started testing out a mod tractor that I had downloaded, a 7320 with a rotating. Uh, what would you call that? Not articulating, but uh, yeah, you have a tricycle style setup. Uh, <laughs> I just sound like a bad like now. Yeah, you just have to see it for yourself. You go uh, go to that video. I like exploring all the different mods. People have some really good ideas uh, to make this sim much more better, uh, much more efficient, and uh, and also mods that make it a lot more realistic. So I do enjoy exploring all those. Of course, there's a whole series of custom maps that I've yet to check out, and uh, I mean, it's just incredible what some people create. And I do actually have the start of a Wisconsin map form, which I'll probably be getting to at some point. Um, that is a brand new form set up as well. And, um, I have very little time invested in that form so far. Uh, the California farm, of course, is my, uh, I think, over 100 hours, <laughs> 100 hours now uh, working there, so that's been my favorite so far. So we're probably going to have some overlap here because it's a pretty sizable chunk of field that I would like to get sampled, so you'd be surprised how you can change a little corner of a field, can change based on its soil composition and everything, but once we get the data, we know. I'll just follow the edge, follow the edge, get as much of the field in the green circle as possible. And then, uh, yeah, I think there's one more field after this, maybe. Amazing how it's already been. <laughs> it's already been almost 20 minutes. So that was pretty well. Trying to yeah, trying to keep these videos you know short to the point. Uh, but yeah, a lot of time can go by when you're having fun and also just uh, lost in the world. So okay. So yeah, once this is all done with, the next order of business, probably spreading manure, fertilizer of some kind, and uh, I think I'll be modifying the land a little bit here. Uh, I like to try and account for drainage from steep slope fields 
uh, by either ditches or berms with vegetation on those. So um, I've talked about it in one of my previous videos, how I modified the California farm to try and account for all that stuff. Part of sustainable farming, uh, trying to control the amount of erosion that can roll off of a field, especially these which have, you know, again, on a hill, uh, you want to try and minimize the amount of sheet flow that comes off, so berms, uh, trenches, vegetation, whatever you can do, so I'll be exploring that as well. One more soil sample here. The uh, One of my two favorite mods probably as far as actual farming goes is probably the precision farming mod and of course the seasons mod, so those two combined have uh, definitely uh, increased the realistic feel of the game of the sim. So, of course, all little details like, you know, getting muddy and just a whole host of different things. Um, there's definitely a lot to explore. I'm going to get to the grassy side here. Roll along and get some mud out of the tires before I get it back on the public roads. So, yeah, this would be a nice... Uh, plenty of uh, grass here in between the road and the field, so might do a little drainage ditch or actually a berm maybe um, along here. Get some trees. Uh, trees have many different benefits. You know, the roots go deeper. They hold a larger chunks of the soil together uh, so you don't have as much erosion. And also wind breaking uh, so you don't lose, uh, you know, soil and, and uh, you don't get crops damaged by wind. So I can, uh, yeah, I can already see that in my head. <laughs> get some uh, tall conifers along this road here and uh, that would be pretty nice and of course that means I'm um, going to be losing uh, you know turnaround radius or turn turnaround width here but I'll just offset that by uh, you know just uh, I'll offset that by giving away some of the field um, planting that or just leaving it a stubble or um, whatever I come up with so just some things that I've you know, learn from real world practices and try to recreate in this sim. And uh, one thing I will say, I haven't, I know I've seen other videos do this, um, but I have not looked for and been able to figure out the mod that allows you to actually dig with, like, like say I get a, uh, say I get an excavator here, the mod that allows you to actually change the terrain with that machine instead of just going through the, uh, terrain forming uh, mode of the of the sim so if you play this at all you know what I'm talking about um, you know being able to paint the ground texture or whatever uh, I want to figure out how I can actually dig with the like be in the excavator and actually dig the ground and uh, and change it that way but of course that probably takes a lot more time too so it would be satisfying to sit in the machine and actually do that but anyway, it's uh, getting close to, yeah, 20, 23 minutes, so go ahead and park and uh, take a look at the soil data real quick before I end this and uh, next video, see what I get up to. Hopefully rain is done for a little bit. I'm going to fix some mods, download some mods, and just, uh, yeah, you see I've got a big empty empty shed that's just begging to be filled up with brand new toys, uh, planters and whatnot. So. Alright. Let's see what we have. So 17, did I send that data? Maybe not. Oops. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> Something I've got to fix. I don't know why that's doing that. <laughs> it's gotta stand all the way over here for it to register that I want to get in. Send. Okay, forgot to do that. So I forgot to send the data, but it's gonna be doing that in a minute. Yep, see we've got laboratories analyzing nine soil samples right now. We'll wait here for that stuff to come in. So okay, I've got two more fields to do, but for the sake of time, uh, I can get those done later and uh, figure out what I'm going to be planting. 
I guess the stamp boards are going to take a while. Yeah, I've got some contracts here too. I can uh, get ideas for uh, what equipment I want to buy. Planting in other people's fields first. There we go. Data's here. Okay. So primarily, so we have lots of sandy loam. Well, I mean, it, you, you can see the difference, but uh, 17 uh, loam, sandy loam, 18 mostly loam. And uh, no yield data yet, of course, and everything is low nitrogen. And uh, okay, pH is looking fine. So yeah, all right. That's a start. Like I said, brand new farm. Uh, and just getting started. So I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, we'll get up to some more activities. Thanks for watching.